This is how you create your own pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So when you're in Illustrator, one of the things you may want to do is create a pattern or something that you may use that's repeated over and over again. And the purpose of which might be for if you're creating wallpaper, some people create patterns for print, uh, if it's for apparel, they use it for many different reasons. Now, just a basic setup, let's say we have this grid of squares. Now, I'm going to zoom in just so we get a better look at it. It's basic, nothing special about it, just a grid of squares. But let's say we want to be able to apply this grid to just about anything that we put on the stage. So let's put this over here just so we can see. What we would do is we would select this grid and we would head over to our window panel and in the brushes panel, if we go to window, go to brushes, we can click the new group or new brush option that's down at the bottom. And when we click that, you can create a pattern brush. We click OK, we will be presented with a new window and in this window we can select our pattern options. Now you'll notice that it shows a direction in this window that the pattern will flow. And it basically shows the spacing. Now you have really three options that you want to work with. You have stretch to fit, add space to fit, and approximate path. And if you look closely in the window, when you click on these, you'll see how it adjusts. Right now it's taking this square and it's stretching it so that it fits the exact shape of this path. If you add space, what it'll do is if the square is not exactly a square fully in its orientation or whatever the shape is, it will add space so that it fits better to the actual path of the pattern. And then approximate path is when the actual computer itself will guess the distance that's needed for the path itself. And then you can click OK. Let's go to stretch to fit. We click OK. If we were to, let's say, select our pen tool, we were to click here, click here, click here, and let's say this was a stroke, and we were to look in our brushes window, you'll notice that the pattern is now in this window. If we were to click it, we now have a pattern that's along that stroke. You'll also notice that if you were to go to Window, click Pattern Options, this is the option window to actually change your pattern. Now, let's see. You can click Make Pattern, and it will add that pattern that we just created to the window, and it will base this pattern upon a grid or brick by row. You'll notice that it changes as we adjust it. Brick by column. Hex by column. There are different options. You can change the width so that it contracts or expands. Same thing with the height. And then you can size the tile so that it scales to the actual artwork. You can move the tile with the art you can do any of these things with it. It gives you a whole array of options. You just gotta fool around with it. Once you fool around with it, you become more familiar with it. Uh, you can change how the copies are laid out. You can do it as seven by three, nine by nine. Let me see if we do a one by one. You'll see it's just the one, but this is how you govern rows and columns for the copies. And you can change how these actually overlap within one another. So you just play around with these options in your pattern options. And that's how you create your own pattern in Adobe Illustrator.